this is Prodigy ENG and this is a new episode of Tennis with Joe. Uh, you might also know me as Prodigy Rep V2. Uh, now I've just stepped out of the seating area of the train. I'm on my way down to Wimbledon for the men's singles final. I'm extremely hyped. I was able to get a last minute ticket. Um, so I thought I'd go back um, and I'm just going to be vlogging my experience um, so I'll leave it as it is for now uh, but I will be back uh, with more to this video very shortly Thank you. so I've actually now arrived at Wimbledon uh, it's about 12.48 uh, um, so I've actually been out of the house since about 7am so it's been a long travel but um, finally here uh, you see the background the outside courts uh, I picked up my ticket already because it was a Ticketmaster return um, and I actually did get uh, really good seats on the uh, 208 um, row uh, C so I've never sat there before but it's actually really good uh, so I'm looking forward to it when I head into Centre Court uh, in about an hour there's so no rush because it doesn't start till 2pm so I'm going to wait until then uh, as you can see uh, the ground's filling up um, over that way, uh, court 12, so there's some stuff going on there, court 3, uh, wheelchair doubles, uh, and then the outside courts which are obviously out of use now, uh, apart from practices, uh, I believe Novak Djokovic practised on uh, court 11, uh, which is right in the distance over there, and you see a uh, centre court in the background, um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited, I got here, um, actually, um, met with a uh, good Twitter friend, uh, Stephen Holland, uh, whilst I was on my way down, so that was nice. He actually, actually just bumped each other into each other on the same carriage of the train, so that was really nice. Uh, I'm going to sign off for now, um, and we'll probably see you when I am inside Centre Court. So, in the background is uh, Hemman Hill. Uh, it's always going to be Hemman Hill, nothing else. Uh, people watching the, uh, the boys' juniors final. Uh, obviously a lot waiting for the men's but it's is, it is quite busy already because there's Brit interest uh, with Jack Draper um, and then got the uh, resales queue so that's uh, building up already um, a lot of people hoping uh, that the casuals uh, leave before um, before like the, uh, the match ends now there's always going to be the case of that happening because yeah casuals don't care they'll get the face on TV for one set and uh, that's it um, but yeah these people in the resale queue they probably queued already to get in and then they dedicated um, a resale queue ends there um, come around here uh, look out onto uh, court 18 so um, this is court 18 uh, no longer in use for the championships um, but really nice court, um, these uh, seats here get you a nice view behind the baseline and you've got tiered seat in either side so yeah that's a really good court um, so yeah just a, you can see court one there and centre court in the distance and then the media balcony uh, so yeah anyway gonna head off and I will be back soon
Nova! Right guys, well as we might have seen from the previous video, uh, the match point, Novak Djokovic has won Wimbledon, champion for the fourth time, absolutely buzzing, uh, well worth the trip, centre court in the background, I'm going to head back there for some doubles before I head off, probably have to head off about 7pm, uh, but no, absolutely stoked, uh, been a great day. Uh, first two sets pretty rubbish, but the um, second set, Anderson put up a real fight, and Novak had to dig really deep to uh, win that set so uh, check in with maybe some videos from the double um, and I'll see you guys soon peace just stepped out from the vestibule or the seating area into the vestibule sorry um, just to uh, add to my vlog uh, I'm now on the way home, it's been a long day, I left the house at 20 past 7, it is now quarter to 9, uh, so it's been a long and tiring day, but also a rewarding one, um, I'll um, catch up with you all properly uh, when I get home, uh, no, it's, been a, it's been an amazing day, uh, just so tired. One thing I will say is I actually got uh, spoken to by uh, Wimbledon security uh, because uh, CCTV saw me recording this vlog um, um, after the Djokovic match and the, obviously for, for, for understandable reasons people doing that on their own can raise suspicion so they just asked me what I was doing. Uh, spoke to me, looked through my camera, made sure I wasn't taking any silly pictures on there or anything like that. Um, so I have to give credit to the uh, the Wimbledon security because they were very respectful, uh, explained why they didn't speak to me, and then they let me on the way. So uh, really appreciated. Um, but now uh, yeah, I'm on the way home. Um, I'm absolutely shattered, um, and I uh, can't wait to get to, <laughs> get to my bed. I don't know what shift I'm on at work tomorrow, but hopefully I can swap on to the late if I am on the early, because I, I'm not going to be able to do that late shift. Uh, I'll catch up with you guys uh, when I get home, because I need to rest. I might take a nap. See you later. Bye. What is up, guys? Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to actually sign off this vlog um, on the train. I was exhausted. Um, I just didn't have the energy to move from my seat. Um, managed to sit in first class. Um, you know, you did see a bit of me on the train, but I wasn't able to, you know, kind of summarise my day. Um, but, you know, it was absolutely unreal experience. You know, I, uh, well worth the, uh, well worth the money I paid and well worth the travel. You know, I travelled down, uh, my train from Manchester was at about 8am. Um, so I was out for, for, for very early because I had to get my taxi at 20 past seven uh, to get that train out very early and it was warm as well so that was quite draining but you know well worth it you know the final wasn't the best um i'll admit that um but the third set i found really good you know anderson pushed novak all the way um had uh, five set points you know there was a uh, one of the set points novak hit a, a forehand and it landed really deep on the baseline and i thought that this is it this is the set uh, but um it was in and novak did manage to win the point 
Um, so yeah, it was just an unreal third set, and then Novak did manage to run away with the tie break. You know, no, it's just uh, just been an incredible experience. You know, finally getting to go to a Wimbledon's men's final. Uh, I was at the ladies final. Grateful for that as well. I was there last year. Um, that was a good experience as well. But just all in all, it's been really fun. Um, I'm blessed to have been able to go. Um, managed to meet up with some uh, people I know again. So I met up with uh, Stella, uh, huge Novak fan. Had a chat with her. It was lovely. Her and a friend. Um, I believe she's called Bridget. Uh, excuse me if I got that wrong. Um, I met up with Shikar, who uh, whose brother house I was staying at throughout the week. So it was nice to see him again um, after seeing him earlier in the tournament. So Nick Lester um, had a bit of a chat with him. Uh, great guy as well. Um, and I saw. Uh, um, I'm going to put his name here because <laughs> I don't know if he wants his proper name revealing but I saw him as well a uh, great tweeter into his juniors so it was nice to see him as well um, so I'm going to end it here um, going to do a few videos you know, reviewing uh, Wimbledon in general in the future perhaps uh, but I just want to thank you for watching this vlog uh, that's me done uh, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next episode